I say we as if I'm German, but <laughs> I'm not. But in my heart, I am. Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey, you guys. What's up? That was a little offbeat, but whatever. In today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about the election in Germany and politics and all that good stuff. The 26th of September is the general election in Germany, and I just decided that I'm going to dedicate this month to uploading about politics. I don't really have an excuse that often on my channel to talk about politics, so I decided to use this to my advantage because I technically love talking about these things. Now, in this video, I'm only going to be talking about why it's such an important election or why it's so crazy or I have no idea just throw my opinions out there and what I've come up with I think I have eight points I'm not gonna go into too much detail about these things I will link down below in the eye if you click the eye it'll show videos that you can watch where I talk about politics and just maybe comparing them to the United States I haven't made that many videos regarding these types of topics but I have made a few and you can watch them if you are interested in that and I'm also planning hopefully if I can do all the research it's very hard because I've been reading all of the voter programs Wahlprogramme programme of the main political parties here in Germany and they're like usually 100 to 200 pages and I've been reading them all the past couple of weeks and it's been very <laughs> time consuming and just brain consuming and I wanted to do like a what is it a deep down dive of each political party but I don't know if I'm going to get to that because it's just been a lot of work. So let's start off with the obvious. The reason that this is a humongous election this year and everyone's making such a big deal about it is because Angela Merkel is no longer going to be the leader of Germany. Now it's very hard for people if you are American she's not technically the president but how we view presidents and stuff she's very similar to what a president is in the United States but she's not the president she's the chancellor. If you want to look it up what the differences are this video is not talking and comparing and contrasting presidents versus chancellor but for me she's a representative of Germany she was voted into office I think 16 17 years ago to be chancellor and she said deuces she doesn't want to do it no more i mean i understand after doing a job for 16 years i feel like you're probably exhausted you're probably just it's become mundane and i feel like she's 67 at some point you want to stop working and she's been doing a very stressful job for the past many years almost two decades of her life so i feel like it's her time but yeah a lot of people have been comfortable with angela merkel and they're pretty scared of what will happen afterwards which is a valid point because if you've had a leader for i don't know 10 to 20 years you're probably scared of the unknown because you don't know anything else a lot of people that have had angela Merkel as chancellor they don't really recall having anyone else before that i know at some age point you do remember but there are still a lot of people that only remember having angela Merkel as their chancellor and to put it into perspective from an american standpoint i have lived that i can remember i know that i've been alive a little bit longer but from where i can really remember elections and presidents george w bush obama um trump biden so that's four presidents and angela merkel has been chancellor that whole time i have seen four different leaders in my life uh, for my country and german people have seen one but another interesting thing about what's happening in this election is that the ratings are not consistent or they aren't staying the same and i do think it has a lot to do with you know the situation that we're in right now we all know what i'm talking about right because i'm not allowed to say it on youtube because get demonetized but because we've been seeing so many scandals so many just catastrophes that have been happening the past couple of months and year a lot of people have changed their political opinion and that means they've changed who they want to vote for because of how they have been handling the situations that germany is in right now i remember watching the elections before not necessarily this big of an election but watching the smaller elections that have been happening in germany and the ratings have stayed generally the same like there might be a little three point difference three percent difference but it's never like where in the beginning of year some parties were strong and then at the end of the year it was relatively like a 20 point difference you have to also take into account who are they asking <laughs> who are they asking these questions to but the polls but it's still very interesting to see how much it's shifting you know day to day everyone's changing their mind day to day another interesting thing is that a lot of people still to this day you know this video is going up september 1st or 2nd maybe first and a lot of people still to this day do not know who they are going to vote for which for me as Germans, like how I know Germans to be, like being organized, being prepared, being all this 
stuff this seems so out of the ordinary for them that they still that a lot of people not everyone some people are you know they're firm believers in who they want to vote for but there are a lot of people that just don't feel a connection with a party or they've changed their mind regarding a party or because of something that's happened they don't want to vote for anyone and that's something that i feel like is very interesting it's also very informative of what's happening in the election right now and how maybe unsatisfied people might be with the candidates and the parties and how they are i guess handling the situation and campaigning maybe and just representing themselves as individual people and this next point is going to be one that points out why this election is so important and just because germany is a huge contender in the international market i know a lot of people tend to forget that germany's relatively small has a small population but in europe it's one of the richest if not the richest country here and so how germany goes in the future and how their political system works trickles down to the other european nations and that will probably dictate how strong or not strong europe is in the future a lot of people tend to forget that they think oh it's just germany but actually it's not just germany we're not even speaking from the european union we're speaking from europe as a whole and we also have to throw in the international relationships that are going to be impacted by this election germany is pretty stable when it comes to international relationships in my personal opinion i'm from the united states so <laughs> anything <laughs> that varies from how we do it in the United States is stable to me and it's been stable for the majority of time that Angela Merkel has been chancellor so it's very interesting to see what might happen in the future if it's still going to stay stable if anything's going to happen with the relationships that we have or the deals that we have with other countries I say we as if I'm German but <laughs> I'm not, but in my heart I am. This next point I'm not going to go into too much detail on because it can get a little controversial and I'm trying to stray far away from that in this particular video. Just wait till my other upload, you guys. I promise they'll be <laughs> very juicy. I'm just going to be talking about the right wing party basically gaining momentum in the past couple of years. I'm talking about the AfD. I don't think there has been any political party in the past couple of decades that has had so much momentum behind them that have deemed themselves to be right extremists, which I don't think they actually consider themselves <laughs> right <cons> extremists. But um, for the general population, the AfD is seen as a very far leaning right a populist group, extremist group, and they have gotten into the Bundestag, which was a shock for so many people, and it's still a shock to so many people that they still have so many people behind them. So I think that's crazy for a lot of people still to this day that this political party still has so much momentum and support behind them. So the next point is an interesting point, you guys, for me, at least from what I have observed, and this is just like a general statement and like an opinion of mine. I don't necessarily know if it's correct. You guys can let me know if you feel this same way but i feel like coalitions in germany are going to be so different moving forward so in the past and coalitions are a common thing in german um, politics and elections and all that good stuff but moving forward i feel like when you are voting for one particular party you need to see who they are going to form a coalition with because you are never voting for one particular party in germany which is sometimes frustrating so what i have come up with or what i think is going to happen is that there's not going to be one specific party that's ruling there are going to be a lot of compromises that have to happen because a lot of political parties are going to have to come together to form you know this big group that has the majority of power so when that happens i'm pretty sure that the parties they come up with um this like contract sort of thing and it's usually a couple pages long and it puts what they plan on doing how they plan on doing this and what like this compromises that compromises things that they won't do will do and so i just feel like it's very interesting now to see how these coalitions have shifted and how they are going to be in the future moving forward with more elections when it comes to the fact that more political parties are gaining momentum and more political parties are having a voice it's no longer you know this clear line between who's going to win there's a very very close <laughs> close race between many different political parties parties and also you know coming from an american that has you know democrat and republican as a choice it's very interesting to see how many political parties can actually be voted and how many people can resonate with so many different parties i mean i'm pretty sure there are a bunch of americans that wished they had more political parties but to see it in action you know how germany does it is very interesting for me it's something that i really enjoy but i just think now moving forward it's going to be a little different than it was in the past 
So the next point is going to have to do with both it being crazy, important, and interesting, and it is the simple fact that so many scandals have come to light in the past, I want to say, year or two regarding most of the political parties. I'm not going to be speaking about specific political parties in this video, but it has come to light that many political parties and people in those parties have made monetary gain through lobbying or through certain deals that they benefited from that they lined their pockets with. And I feel like due to the world that we're in now where you have access to so much information on the internet, it's very hard for political parties to, you know, hide their scandals. Back in the day when there wasn't internet or internet was not how it is today, as accessible as it is today, or Google was not as accessible as it, as it is today and organized as it is today, finding out about scandals was very, very hard. I mean, sometimes people talked about them in the news and stuff, but it wasn't to the same extent as we see on the internet where something is found out and then it's shared within 10 seconds on social media, in the news, and everywhere else. So I just feel like this is an interesting election because of all of the scandals that have come out in the past one or two years regarding everything that has been happening in Germany, and not even on a German national level and international level as well. And the next point is going to be why this election is so important, and it is the simple fact that a new party, a fresh face, I mean there is going to be a coalition most likely 99.9% .9 of the time, but the main party that gets voted in has to take on these new issues that Germany has right now and they have to try to make a cake a chocolate cake out of shit <laughs> like excuse my language but they seriously have to take all the problems that Germany has right now and that they have been dealing with the past whether it be a year or 15 years they have to now come in with their new ideas which is it gonna be that new if they're coming from the same political party we don't know who's gonna win but is it really gonna be that different or radical probably not but it's still very important to see what's going to happen in the future with these new leaders, these new coalitions, and all of that good stuff. And the last and final point of why this election is so crazy for me personally, um, and what I've seen people saying, whether it be online or talking to them when it re when it comes to the election, is the simple fact that a lot of people are not voting because they do not resonate with any of the people or parties that are running right now. Which for me, as an American, that only has usually two political parties. I mean, you could throw in like the Green Party or whatever party is there, but they don't stand a chance. They're like 1% of the vote, probably 0.4% of the vote. So when you're talking to someone, I mean, and it's not just one person, I've seen so many people say this too that they're not voting for anybody because they don't resonate with anyone but my prediction for this year is either there are two either's that are going to happen I feel like two extremes are going to happen either there's going to be the biggest turnout of voters ever in Germany I mean that should happen because the population is more or there's going to be the lowest turnout for people that are not voting because they don't have a connection with any of the political parties. And coming from an American standpoint, the reason that people usually don't vote in the United States, aside from finding both parties to be crap, a lot of the times we have, you know, a lot of hurdles to jump over to be able to vote. We have to make sure that we get off work and that we're able to take time off and that we're able to jump through all of the hoops or even like make sure that we have enough money to take time off to go vote or drive driving to the nearest um, voting location, which sometimes can be very far away, standing in very long lines, or getting our ID, or getting our voter registration card, and having all of this stuff prepared to be able to vote, and a lot of people don't vote because of those hurdles in the United States. Germany has a very streamlined process compared to the United States, and so the main reason that people do not vote here is just because not easy access to voting, or non-easy access to voting, but because they just don't like politics, and they probably don't like like the candidates that are there. So yeah, those are all the points you guys. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading more videos regarding politics and the election, hopefully. I'm trying my best to go through all of the programme, the val programme of every political party that's been out, you know. <laughs> the past couple of weeks and it's been very hard so hopefully I can do all my research by like the next two weeks and have videos out for y'all. If you like these types of videos don't forget to subscribe. If you like politics you can let me know in the comment section and other than that get out and vote. Good luck you guys and yeah.